Hi, today we're here to learn how to talk about race with your child and also how to practice racial resilience. So why should we even talk about race with our children? Children can recognize and respond more appropriately to racism and discrimination when you talk to them about it. Also, children have a better understanding and appreciation for their own racial group, and also they become more respectful of other racial and ethnic groups. Now, how does racism impact parents? We know from the American Psychological Association that racism can impact well, people in general in many different ways, such as physical effects, emotional effects, and spiritual effects. When we talk about physical effects, it includes increased hypertension, illness, and risky behaviors. The emotional effects include depression, anxiety, anger, irritability, and aggression. And then spiritual effects can include a decreased sense of purpose, lack of connection with the larger community, isolation from larger social groups, and reduced involvement in communal activities that you enjoy. Now, the impact on parenting manifests in many ways, such as the imposter syndrome. When you're exposed to racism repeatedly, you often start doubting yourself and can feel like you are an imposter in dominant culture settings or in settings where you feel that you don't belong. Then there's the helicopter parenting. That has to do with monitoring and fear. These experiences of racism and unwanted blame or lack of acceptance can make you want to protect your children so much that you don't allow them to explore in the ways that they need to. There's also something that's called hypervigilance, which is basically being overly alert. Now, experiencing racial stress can make you more aware of potential dangers and negative experiences that can occur. This, in turn, can make the experience of parenting even more stressful. Now, there's also something called minimizing racism. Racism is overwhelming, as is the history of violence. You are sometimes taught that accepting this and minimizing racism is the only thing you can do. But when you ignore racism and accept powerlessness, you encourage your child to internalize racism. There are other manifestations like avoidance and mistrusting others and also self-blame. What we want to do is we want to practice a balanced ethnic racial socialization. Now, Ethnic racial socialization is a class of protected practices used to promote minority children's pride and esteem in their racial group and to provide children with competencies to deal with racism. So here are some tips needed to talk to children about race so you can make sure that that ethnic racial socialization is balanced. Number one, Recognize your own views on racial issues. Number two, be prepared to manage your emotions and help your child cope. Children often pick up the behaviors of adults and repeat those. It's important to model effective ways to cope with disappointment or anger. Third, use activities, books, or movies to talk about differences. And don't feel pressure to have all the answers. By exposing children to books or museums can help share information and start conversations. And then number four, share some of your own experiences in dealing with racism and discrimination. Now here are some books for children, young children to read. The first one is When God Made You. It's by Matthew Paul Turner. The second one is The Colors of Us by Karen Katz. And the third one is called Look What Brown Can Do by T. Marie Harris.
I am going to actually read all three of these books. So please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and look out for all three of these books. Then we have books for teenagers. Hill Harper has a book, it's called Letters to a Young Brother. And then there's also Testimony by Natasha Tarpley. My suggestions for parents include The Answers, A Parent's Guide to Discussing Racism with Children by Troya Bishop, and How to Be Less Stupid About Race by Crystal M. Fleming. And then my suggestions for teachers, and I am a teacher of 17 years, would include Young, Gifted, and Black by Teresa Perry. Why Are the Black Kids Sitting Together in the Cafeteria by Beverly Daniel Tatum, and also Other People's Children by Lisa Delpit. Well, I hope this was helpful. So please, again, subscribe to the channel and please check out the read alouds that will help your children learn how to again have that balanced sense of ethnic racial socialization. Thank you for tuning in and I hope you have an awesome day.